And so I talk about a lot of studies about, um, that discuss how these expectations affect our assessment of the world around us. And I'm just going to mention a couple here of the, of the fun ones uh, or the more fun ones. And since I like to drink a little wine now and then, I am picked some wine studies to talk about. So I go to um, wine tastings and I participate in identifying the scent of green pepper or freshly tanned leather, parsley, yeah, old shoes in wines and uh, we agree, we disagree and we all evaluate wine and have a lot of fun. The experts rate wines and those ratings are taken very seriously. I don't remember the exact number but um, every point on the wine rating is worth X dollars in sales price that they can charge for the bottle of wine. And so the question is, uh, it, this is a very good area to investigate the effect of expectations and they've had a lot of fun with this in the wine area. Uh, one thing they did is they took wine experts and they lined up a series of wines and asked them to uh, write out their characteristics. And they were all red wines and they all wrote out nice characteristics of red wines except being psychologists who were doing this. One of the wines, <laughs> they, they weren't really told the truth, one of the wines was a white wine dyed to look red. And these experts um, also attributed to it the qualities of red wine, tan tannins, and so forth. Um, another study that I have up there uh, concerned some white wines um, uh, and rosé wines. And white wines dyed to look rosé were judged to be sweeter than the identical wh white wine, which is also in the lineup, which was not dyed. Um, one of my favorite and uh, a very recent study was done at Caltech uh, concerned a number of uh, students. So these were not, they're not wine experts unless you're talking Boone's Farm. But, but they, they certainly can enjoy wine and they were tasting wines um, which were labeled by price. And unbeknownst to them, um, a couple of the wines were identical um, and just labeled with a different price. For instance, one, one pair of wines was, um, appeared in the lineup labeled um, $90 in one case and $10 in the other. And it actually was the $90 bottle. Well, what happened when they rated them? They didn't like it very much when it was a $10 bottle. They loved it when it was a $90 bottle. Well, okay, you might say, fair enough, what does that really prove? Uh, everyone is going to say it's a $10 bottle. If I really like it that much, I must be a moron. I better not like it. But the, the trick here is that um, these students weren't sitting in front of a table leisurely tasting wines. They were lying in an MRI machine and having their brains imaged. And the experimenters were watching as they tasted the wines. And it's true that the pleasure center of their brain actually lit up more when they tasted the $90 bottle of wine. So if you want to have a good time with a friend, you know, buy a $10 bottle of wine, put a $90 label, and you'll all really love it. So 